What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and welcome to an unboxing video. That was a weird intro. I feel like I messed that one up. Anyways, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 September Geek Fill Box with my little friend. What's his name again? Fuel? I always forget his name. You would think for my little friend I would remember his name more than I do. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open up the box and you remove this paper, this is what you're going to see. Not much. Sorry. I could have moved that little magazine. My bad. We have a Geek Fuel magazine. Actually, um, if you guys ever... I don't usually look at these things, but one time I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of neat. So I'm pretty excited to kind of just take a look at it. Some different activities and pictures and whatnot. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what the theme this month was, but let's check it out. The first item we got is a Black Sea Odyssey item. It's Sticky Star and downloadable Steam game. Okay, so this is what their, this is their downloadable game. So back here, there's a code. Maybe I'll do some kind of like giveaway to give the code to you guys. Oh, this is like a candy machine toy. Oh, it's a sticky hand, but it's a star. Oh, nice. I actually really enjoy sticky hands. I don't know how well this would actually, like, pick up things because it's a circle, but that's still cool. Not their best downloadable game giveaway. Uh, usually they give you some really, really cool items, but it's not bad. It's better than just a card that has a code, which is what most companies do. So this is a download for Black Sea Odyssey. Black Sea Odyssey. Oh, and he's, and he's smiling. Oh, you guys, this is something I'd actually put on my laptop. I love this guy so much. Oh, he's so cool. I'm still waiting for my vinyl figure of him, but I'll keep waiting. The next item we have is a mallet of mischief inflatable toy. Is this, that reminds me, I feel like that's going to be... Well, Mallet of Mischief. I feel like that's uh, Harley Quinn, but I don't know. Whoa. I'm so lightheaded. I used to be... This is going to sound really weird. I used to be obsessed with inflatable... Um, with inflatable toys like this, the ones that, like, it's ridiculous. Like, if you ever knew me in high school, if any of you guys knew me in high school, I was, like, obsessed with things like this. It was really weird. Weird obsession. So we have our Mallet of Mischief. It says, place your face here. And again, I think this is a Harley Quinn item. This is, she always carries around a mallet, so I'm gonna go with that. And I'm pretty sure that this might be her logo. Although, I think hers is red but maybe this is that just because it's carved it's carved into the wood so this is an inflatable mallet i wonder if i can give this to jackson i soren and chris can i give this to jackson would you dislike me forever i got him a sword one time and they weren't very happy with me they weren't a fan they weren't a fan all right we have this item here this is another i think there's another harley quinn item it's in this box i wonder if this is a poster harley's little black book and then it says Superman on it. Oh, is this a coloring book? Oh, these are like, um, oh no, it's ripping. It's ripping down the middle. These are like comic book covers that you can color. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like an adult coloring book, sort of. That's not bad. I mean, I'm not usually a fan of posters anyway, so this is kind of a cool one because at least it's, you can use it. Like, you can, uh, it's interactive, sort of. And then the last item we got is, oh, look at this. They made it look like an NES game. It's a classic cutting board. It's a Geek Fuel cutting board. I'm going to open this. The packaging, again, is made to look like an NES game, which I love. Another picture of my little friend. Gosh, he's making quite the, uh, oh, my gosh. <gasps> you guys, can you see the detail in this? They actually, like, they actually made the cutting board look like an NES game. <gasps> That's so cool. I love this. I cook. Well, I don't cook as much as I'd like to, um, but I usually like to cook, and this is super cool. The backside is flat just in case you don't want the grooves because I can imagine that might be a little bit difficult to actually cut on, but just in general, like, this is cool. You know what? This would be really cool if I was, like, super creative. If you, any of you guys are, like, 
artsy, you could totally paint on like the Super Mario game logo or like whatever it looks like or, or your favorite NES game, you could totally paint this to make it look like an NES game and then you could actually like mount it and hang it and stuff. That's super cool, I enjoy that. Ow! What I don't enjoy is that it just almost gave me a freaking splinter, so you should be careful by that. I still like it, but just be aware. Ow, Look at people texting me at six in the morning. Come on, guys, come on. That legitimately almost gave me a splinter. Ah. Okay, I really despise splinters. Like, they bother me. I've always been, like, not scared of them, but kind of. The last item we have is a Gildan, the tag fell off. It's a Gildan Heavy Cotton Tea. It is a men's medium, and they partnered with X-Men this month. So let's check it out. It's a navy blue shirt. How does that look? Can you even see it? I didn't look. So this is an uh, X-Men Apocalypse shirt. It just has the different characters in like this yellow print, like Magneto and Beast and Professor X and Cyclops and Apocalypse Psylocke. So there you go. I'm not a huge fan of X-Men, although one of my favorite movies, and I hope people don't judge me for this because I haven't actually seen all of the X-Men movies or I haven't seen them all in one sitting where I'm like really watching the movie but the one movie I really enjoy I love X-Men is it X-Men first class is that the one where they're like younger and they're, they're starting the school I like loved that movie I don't even know why I just really enjoyed it a lot okay guys that was everything in the box let's take a look at the card and we'll do a recap so the first item we had is our X-Men apocalypse shirt I'm gonna go ahead and give that ten dollars we had our black sea odyssey game download i usually give these a dollar you guys usually get mad at me this is a steam download which i think is a little bit more so i'll give that three dollars because it came with a sticky spike ball thing which is cool okay wait i changed my mind i'm gonna give the game five dollars because i remember talking to you guys a lot about that so i'm gonna just give it five dollars i think it might be worth more i'm just gonna give it five dollars i'll give the sticky hand uh, 50 cents. The nostalgic classic cutting board, which I actually really like, just be very careful because it might give you splinters. Um, I really enjoy this item. I'd probably give this thing probably six dollars and fifty cents. I wanted to give it six or seven, so I'll do six fifty. Uh, you probably could give it more. I like the uh, that's a really, really unique and thoughtful item. Like, I really enjoy just like the thought process that went through with that. Um, we had our coloring book with the uh, exclusive DC poster cover things that were like the comic book covers. Um, I'll probably give that just two dollars. We had our inflatable mallet. I'm gonna go ahead and give this, I'll give this uh, three dollars. And then we had this sticker which I love. I'm gonna give that a dollar. And that was everything in the box. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $28. I pay about $20 for this box, I think. So I got $8 extra value on top of what I paid for for a $20 box. That's good. That's like that's like where you hit the great point because good would be $5, awesome would be $10, $8 is like really good. So I definitely undervalued. Uh, I think I, you probably could give a couple more dollars to the um, cutting board. But I think everything else is pretty spot on except for maybe the game download which I don't you know I don't really download the games and the thing about game downloads is if it's not a game that you are planning on downloading then it's not necessarily that valuable but if it's something that you really enjoy then I'm sure that it's more valuable so it just depends um if I had to rate this box I really like the cutting board that's definitely my favorite item in the box and then I really like the the fuel sticker <laughs> because I'm lame like that and I really like that little robot. The cutting board to me though is cool enough that it actually makes me like this box and then the value is good. I probably, if I had to rate this box, I would probably give it a four out of five noobs. Um, I didn't like all of the items, so it's just kind of, you know, like, eh. And then I wish that there was a little bit more value to the box. Um, eight is do $8 is good, but I just cracked open the loot crate and that got like 22 extra dollars and it's about the same price. So, you know, in comparison, I wish that it did get a little bit more value. But I really like that cutting board. The, the cutting board made this box for me. So I am confident giving it a four out of five noobs. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, 
feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me when I hit 20,000 subscribers, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to do a wine series edition because I already have it already, and I have tons of boxes I need to open, and I'll probably do some kind of live stream soon, so that'll be fun. I don't know when, though, so I'll let you guys know. But yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I think most of you guys have subscribed, but if you haven't, and you want to, feel free. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What was your favorite item? Do you think it was worth it? I feel like, you know, I like Geek Feel a lot. I've never actually, like, it, now that I think about it, there was a really long period of time when I first got this box I didn't really like all of the items in the box, and then it got really good. And then I think it's kind of like in that mixture zone. But I still like this company. I like their customer service. It's really good. And then, you know, I thought the cutting board was, like, amazing. I actually really enjoyed the cutting board. It's a very good topic of conversation if you are into that. I am. I like having cool things so people are like, hey, what is that? That's so cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys later. Bye!